Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna take a look at a standard barrel, a comped barrel, and a ported barrel. We're gonna see if, according to a layman, just not a professional necessarily shooter kind of guy, can you feel a difference? Is there really a difference in these things? We're gonna shoot them a little bit and just kind of see how they feel these. That's basically what we're gonna do, so let's get into it. Alright, so for our standard quote-unquote barrel, this is a Shadow Systems MR920, this is a War Poet model. Um, basically, it's a threaded barrel, so it's just slightly longer than a regular Glock 19 barrel, uh, but it's, there's no porting, there's no comp, there's no nothing really special about the barrel as far as compensation goes, okay? Um, so that's what this guy is. This guy right here, this is a, I believe this barrel is a Bear Creek Arsenal barrel. It's a conversion barrel from 40 to 9. So this is a Glock 23 and regularly chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. Now it's a 9 millimeter. It is threaded, so basically the same length as this guy right here. Um, same size, this guy as a Glock 19, for those that don't know. And this it has a compensator on it uh, from Suarez International. I believe it's their street comp. For the ported gun, right, this is a Glock 19, right, Brownell slide, and the barrel, um, this is from Aim Surplus, a really cheap barrel. I was shocked at how cheap this guy was. I can't put links in anything like that because YouTube doesn't let us do stuff like that, but if you go to Aim Surplus, you can find these things. That's cheap barrel. Um, and basically, it's, it's, it's not threaded, so it's going to be about a half inch shorter than the other barrels, but that wouldn't make any difference if it was not threaded or not, or if it was threaded or not, because you got ports. And porting is basically you put holes in your barrel that kind of vent the gases upward and kind of help drive the gun back down. That's the idea behind it. Whereas a compensator, you have the full length of the barrel for the gases to expand and push that bullet, make it go fast and do the things and stuff that it needs to do. And then when those pressures and gases come out the end of the barrel on the compensated pistol, they hit these chambers and those act to push the barrel down and in essence, just to kind of reduce the recoil and help the gun settle a little bit faster. That's my understanding of it. On the ported barrel, there is no compensator on the end. It, it, it basically is all built into the barrel itself. There's pros and cons to both versions. I have never fired a ported barrel that I'm aware of. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see. It'll be very interesting to see. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with the regular barrel, and then we'll work our way from to, to, to the compensated and the ported. Um, definitely, none of this stuff is suppressed. Um, it would be funny for kicks and giggles to make um, to, to get a threaded ported barrel and put a suppressor on it. It'd be stupid. It wouldn't do anything. Well, I don't know what it would do. I don't know what it would do. It'd be fun. That's what it would do. It'd be fun. It'd be a fun little project. Anyway, let's get these things on. I need to get some new ones. These guys are falling apart. All right, so here we go. Um, I believe all the ammo we have is 145 grain, I think it's 145 grain, Tula Subsonic. That's the only real stuff we have. Um, it would be better to do this with like some really hot 115 grain stuff, I think, but we'll see. And who knows how well everything's gonna run? I don't know. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna do five rounds. I'm gonna shoot a steel, who cares if I hit it or not. Um, well, actually, we'll be a part of it. Let's see if I hit it or not um, to see how fast I can do this without missing, right? Keeping the gun on target. Let's just see, I don't know. So here's five rounds. Five rounds, that's relatively simple. Nothing special, I'm very used to that. Um, he just works, does what he needs to do. Compensated barrel, see how this guy rolls.
pretty much same thing. I don't feel a significant difference with this. And this guy even has a heavy uh, light on the end and everything. I don't feel a huge difference there. I really don't. Honestly, I don't. All right. So here's this guy. Ported. Ported barrel. All right, that does have a different feel. Not sure if that is, uh... I'm not used to that. That does have a different feel. Let's do that again. Let's just do three rounds real quick. I don't care about uh, hitting steel. It's three rounds. Okay. Comped. Okay. Ported. Ah, now we're gonna start having problems. Knew it couldn't all be dandy and sugar coats. I have to get used to that. I can't put my finger on it yet. What is it doing? Let's just finish this magazine. Ah. We should probably polish that chamber. That would probably help us a lot. Yeah. That's going to be the problem. Should have, not, should have done that beforehand. Brand new gun, or not brand new gun, brand new barrel should have uh, polished that chamber. It obviously doesn't have a polished chamber. And I think that's one reason we're getting stuck casings. That and we're shooting steel ammo, which is known for that stuff. All right, interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's do the compt again. Not my target over. And our regular barrel. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely a difference there. Um, I can't put my finger quite on it. It does feel like the comped barrel, not comped, the ported barrel pushes down. It does feel that way. It you, you can you can definitely feel it. You can definitely feel that it is working harder than the uh, than the ported you know, than the compensated barrel. The ported barrel is working harder than the compensated barrel. Hope I'm, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Um, it feels like it's pushing it down a little bit more. I mean, I'll end up with the sight down, which is really strange. That's really strange. I don't quite understand that. That's gonna take a little bit getting used to. Um, but it's interesting. What I need to do now is definitely go in here and clean this guy up. Um, just polish the chamber up a little bit. The way I like to do that, I'll get some rubbing compound or polishing compound, stick it on one of those big, those big fat Q-tips, chuck it up in a drill and just polish the crap out of the chamber. Not too much crazy. I'm not trying to remove material. I'm just smoothing everything out because this is, this is obviously not like a KKM barrel where everything should be good, right? No, this is, this is, this is a pretty cheap barrel, um, but for what it is, I think it's got some potential to it. So here's my question to you guys. Have any of you guys shot ported barrels and what has been your experience? Um, those malfunctions, malfunction, oh, wow, I don't know how I pronounced the edit of that. Um, those malfunctions I was having, is that something that you have noticed if you have shot ported guns? Because I know that it can, it can mess with how everything works. Sometimes you might need to change springs and stuff. I know you do need to do that uh, sometimes in, in different ways and stuff with compensators. Because um, once you start messing with the gun outside of how it was released from the factory, you've got to rework stuff, right? Same with like an engine on a car that I know nothing about. But I understand that if you start messing with stuff, you gotta start retuning things. And, and if you know what you're doing, it's cool. If you don't know what you're doing, then yeah, it's not a good idea. So. Interesting stuff. Interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to keep using this guy. I'm going I'm uh, to clean it up a little bit and see if we can really get it to run because now, I mean, it does do something. That's what I'm, even in one magazine worth, I can tell it does do something and I think it's a positive thing of what it does. Um, I'm just going to have to get used to it a little bit. Anyway, that's it. You guys be good to be safe. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribing and everything, and hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. See you. Here's this 165 subsonics with the comp barrel. I don't know why we didn't try that. <sighs> Same thing. These guys just are not, they're not powerful enough to run the system. No, they don't, they don't cycle hard. No. Accurate and everything. 
but they're not running hard enough to run everything. Nope, they are made specifically for running suppressed. And when you're running suppressed, you get that extra back pressure and everything. So that's why these guys aren't working. But that's fine, is what it is. All right, all right, we threw some oil in it. Let's see if it, uh, if it runs now. I don't know, just a little bit of oil, see if it did anything. No. Hopefully you can see that. No, so they're not really sticking sticking. They're not really sticking sticking, they're just not getting pulled out. Could be an extractor problem. You know what? I do have some 165 grain stuff. One second, let me try that. All right, brass cased 165 grain. See if that does anything. Oh, that doesn't even move. Didn't even, didn't even cycle. It's great. This isn't camera, yeah. Yeah, there's no recoil to it, but I think right now what I'm dealing with is a uh, just a specialized load and a messed up thing. So it's just it's just not cycling, right? Okay. I mean, it don't move. It don't move. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's all I got to try. I don't know. Let's go polish chamber and uh, do it in another video.